Hello, welcome back to the channel. I've just finished painting that one, which turned out not too badly. So watch me paint it here and talk my usual random nonsense. Without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that sort of thing. It's bright and early in the morning because I've got work later on. So I thought I'd do a quick painting in a video. So it's nice to have you all along to watch. So anyway, I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas. It's 20 by 16 inches. It's got an old painting on, which I'm going to go over. Just giving it a quick sand down to take off some of the impasto and we shall get going. So I'll get my palette camera turned on and I will see you in just a second. Right then, palette cam is on. I'll show you my colours, just get a decent pointer. Now on my palette, this is from um, yesterday, so it's all a bit um, mixed up. So um, I'll show you what I've got. I've got some green there and I'm going to add to that green in a minute. I've got um, Indian yellow mixed with um, red ochre, which is quite a nice colour. And I've got Indian yellow on its own. I've got some cadmium yellow just there. I've got more red ochre, a bit primary red, a bit of raw umber just there, um, ultramarine blue, and I've sort of mixed a, a sky colour with the ultramarine blue the other day, and some grey and various other blues and greys just there and some titanium white. I'll just make a, a lighter tone of that grey which is quite nice. Lovely stuff. Just give my palette knife a little wipe. My wife's still in bed so I'm not going to be shouting. Um, I'm just going to Add a bit of that ultramarine blue and get some more green on the go. A bit more Indian yellow. Well, that's that. I think we're just about there. I'm just going to get a bit more blue and just carry on with the sky colour just there. Oh, there's a hair on my palette I've just spotted. Where'd that come from? Oh, perhaps not. No, no, I don't think so. Right, anyway, on with the painting. I will get my face camera back on and I'll see you in just a second. Right, let's get the show on the road and get uh, things going. I'll just find a brush which should help. I'm going to use my long handled brush, I think. I'm in a long handled brush mood. Oh, I don't, I don't really like early starts. Well, I suppose I, I do, um, as long as I'm on my own and left alone to my own devices. Yeah, I don't uh, really like loads of people when it's early in the morning. Um, I'm going to start with uh, some of this green, I think. But yeah, I hope you're keeping well. Uh, when I'm at a hotel or a bed and breakfast or whatever, I don't talk to a soul, you know, um, early in the morning. If you got to have breakfast at like six in the morning or some ungodly hour. And, you know, I just try not to engage with people because I'm still trying to wake up. It takes a few coffees. But, you know, you, you go away with my mum and she talks to everybody. Oh, God, everyone who walks in the dining room. Hello, good morning. I'm like, mm, go away. Right, a bit of green. We get some grey as well. Just there, just to darken things off a bit. Right, 
Ah, slept reasonably well last night. And yeah, working a bit. I'm not starting till midday, which is quite nice. I'd say I'd you know, get a lie in, but I'm up. Um, what now? In fact, I'll get my flat brush. That one. I think it's a couple of inches across. And I'll get some of the grey I mixed. Perhaps with a red ochre as well, just on the tip of my brush. Start churning things up. Stormy sky. Get a little bit of um, thinner, a little bit of zest it. My non toxic stuff. That's the one if you haven't seen it before. It's uh, citrus based. Lovely uh, curry last night, it was nice. I, I like hot curries, so I go for naga and all that sort of thing, you know. And God, it was nice, very nice. It wasn't the best I've had, because um, I, I had um, a migraine yesterday and into the night, so I didn't really want to go anywhere. And I'd normally go to, uh, you know, you have to drive and collect it, but it's the best in the region. at the Little Indian Chef in Abergelly. It's uh, really nice. But um, I, I just went for a local one who, who deliver and yeah, he was, he was all right. Wasn't as nice as Little Indian Chef, but not bad at all. I'm not complaining much. I used to work in a curry house a long, long time ago. Little known fact. I used to, I just used to deliver and you know do the simple things, make rice and you know onion barges and things like that. But yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was uh, 25 years ago, a good while ago. Right, nice bit of sky coming on, nice and stormy. Just going to give my brush a quick wipe. Get some of that blue. Just plonk it up here. The worst job I've ever had in my life was when I, I worked for um, the local education authority. Oh, it doesn't sound exciting. Oh, it's just boring. I really didn't like that job at all. My heart was not in it. I was crap at it. 
Um, it didn't interest me in the slightest. It was stuck in an office all the time or on the phone to people. Oh, it was so dull. I couldn't do that. So I did six months worth and then buggered off. And yeah, but mostly I was crap at it. Did not enjoy that in the slightest. And it involved quite a, a decent distance to drive as well, but uh, commuting, which I hated. I absolutely detested it. Far happier doing what I do now, just working just down the road from here, it's a two minute walk away. It's a much more meaningful job what I'm doing now. You know, the the money, um, it wasn't too bad. You know, you, you see the job and you, you get the job and then it's quite excited because it's quite a, you know, a raising salary and what have you. But I was spending all that bloody money on petrol, just driving to and from bloody work. So it was a waste of time. Not much good. Well, this is coming on nicely, I think. A bit of a, a sky on the go. It's not the best sky in the world, but it is a sky all the same. Yeah, I often paint over my old paintings. You know, if I've got any canvas or whatever, and I've, I've got hundreds of paintings that aren't very good, so I'll just go over them. Right, what I might do is get my scraper. Just um, something shot across my studio. Oh, it's a hairband. It's not one of mine, I hasten to add. It's one of my wives. One of my wife's, not one of my wives. It sounds like I've got hundreds of them. I'll just scrape away some of that paint. It's quite thick. Quite a few lines on there, which I'll get rid of in a second. I often do scrape away my sky, once I put a sky on, just scrape it away and then get some kitchen towel and just do a bit of rubbing. It just, I don't know, it just softens the lines, takes some like paint off. It seems to be quite effective. There we go, right, long handle brush again. I reckon I'm gonna get some of this um, bit of yellow, I'll get, I'll get a bit of Indian yellow as well, and then some red ochre. Just to take the edge off the yellowness, it can be a bit circle. And then just plonk some on in the distance there. That color's quite nice, I might keep that. that um, burnt sienna sort of colour. Not bad at all. We'll see. We'll see how we progress on. A bit more green. Just break up that burnt sienna area a bit.
A bit of blue in the distance just to break things up. Not break things up, just creates a bit of distance, you know. creates the illusion of distant hills and fields. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, they weren't particularly nice people to work for either at the council. I'm not going to mention which council it is. Yeah, they're full of their own self-importance, many of them. But anyway, I'm not going to mention names. Oh, that's some titanium white. Yeah, it's all right. A bit more wiping away, maybe. Let's see what that does. It just brings brings out some of the colour underneath. That's the uh, beauty of that painting, over painting. Yeah, you see some of the old colour coming through. Go, we're getting there. What next? I don't think there's much to do, really. There's only a quick one before I go to work later. A um, bit more Indian yellow and yellow, maybe. That little bit of light just there. When I'm painting, I quite often go like that, you'll notice, you know. I don't know, I suppose it gives you different perspectives. It's not that's not it's not necessarily a textbook way of doing things, it's just what I do. More green. Uh, let's get some of that red ochre, Indian yellowy colour. See what that does. Plonk it there, I think. Yeah, that'll uh, suffice. Quick rub away again. just a tiny bit more white again in the distance just a little
Yeah, I, th I think we're there. It is not sparkling, but it's a painting. It'll do for me. It's something to do, and I've enjoyed it. Starts off the day quite nicely. So there we go. One quick painting. So thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, it'll do. It's not perfect. It's early in the morning. I haven't woken up yet. Need a few coffees. But anyway, job is a good one. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget I'm on Facebook, Instagram and johnkid.co.uk which is my website so don't forget to subscribe and all that sort of stuff and i will see you in the next video thank you so much and uh, i will see you soon bye bye